Yeah, and I think you do have to just speak to people to not think so short term. Yeah. You know, um, an extra two or three weeks of just gradually building into activity could then set you up for the rest of the year. But just from these sort of papers, we could cause more damage to ourselves if we go too hard too fast. You see it all the time. All the time people like come back too soon from injury or sickness and they push the envelope straight away and then they set themselves back a week. So I know it may, you know, small steps forward still mean you're moving forward. Mm. And eventually, you know, you take the small steps forward, you can run and yeah, an extra week or two in the scheme of things. Dr. Izzy Smith, she is an endocrinologist. She speaks a lot on COVID. A fair few studies that she posted okay, about the effects on cardiovascular. So I'm just gonna read some of the post. It's like, you should realistically rest 10 days post symptoms, yeah. okay, before you really go back to training. So with mild resp uh, respiratory infection, some light exercise is usually fine, but with COVID is a different kettle of fish and people should not exercise until they've been symptom free for at least a week. Apart from potentially prolonging the illness, the main concern is due to the risk of exacerbated COVID associated myocarditis. So myocarditis is an inflammation of the heart muscle and can be associated with even asymptomatic COVID-19 infection, but more likely with severe disease. So returning to exercise too early with underlying myocarditis could exacerbate the inflammation and increase the risk of permanent heart damage. I think, yeah, good little tips to, like, to help people quantify like where they're at, like in terms of managing their intensities. I think for stages like one, two, and starting, you can probably push a little bit stage three, but for one and two, especially like staying well below your you know your anaerobic threshold so mm. basically what that means is if you're doing any form of exercise you should be able to have like a conversation like me and james are having now and if you have to stop to catch your breath mm. while you're talking to someone then you're work, like working too hard um or again fun little challenge that we've we've put towards some people and this is sort of heading into stage three as well is working on their nasal breathing mm. gives them something to focus on rather than trying to like up the intensity yeah. of their workouts and their movements because if, especially if you haven't done a lot of like pure nasal breathing workouts before, you're gonna have to reduce your intensity to be able to maintain it.